Hello guys and welcome to another video with the awesome me, Matthew Smith, uh, on my channel Destination Discovery. I've got an awesome adventure lined up for you. Um, I'm actually travelling to three different countries all in one day from London. Uh, I'll be travelling to first to Austria and then crossing the border by train into Slovenia, visiting the famous tourist attraction of Lake Bled, which I can't wait to share how exciting and awesome that was. Uh, and then after that, I'll be uh, going to Ljubljana Airport in Slovenia, the capital, uh, flying uh, via Warsaw, um, and then from Warsaw to Gdansk and Gdansk back to London. A long, long day indeed. But first, um, I encountered some difficulties whilst at Stansted Airport with Ryanair. I've flown with Ryanair for ages, and I've not had any difficulties with them until it came to this one particular day. Uh, so let me explain what happened. So basically, I went to check in uh, like I normally do on my mobile app um, the night before. It would not let me. It told me there was an error. Um, and so I tried in the early hours of the morning. And again, it would not let me check in. So I proceeded, I think, to the Ryanair desk, uh, customer service desk in Stansted Airport. I went to have a, a speak with them, I thought maybe, you know, they'd be understanding and it'd be fine, they can check me in here. Um, but no, uh, did they not do that or why? They basically charged me £55, that's right, you heard me, £55 to check in at the airport, even though it was not my fault. Um, and they would not back down, unfortunately. So I had to pay £55 to go on this trip uh, with the check-in fee at the airport. Even though there's an error, they would not accept that as a reason. Uh, so, at the end of the video, you'll see their full statement and their response to my complaint. Um, I'll be sharing that with you at the end of this video. But for now, let's get into what a, a fun day it was, actually, in the end. Uh, after that little mishap, I had a nice trip to all three countries. I actually enjoyed myself. Uh, it was very exhausting and long, mind you. Uh, but yeah, so I went to Austria, Slovenia and Poland. And at the very end of this um, day trip, you might get a little wintry surprise. Uh, I can't wait to share that with you. Uh, anyway, uh, let's hear some fascinating facts first about these three fascinating countries. And then you'll hear about my incredible day trip. I'll uh, come back to you at the end of the video. I hope you enjoy it. Let's start, shall we? Klagenfurt is a town located in southern Austria and is situated on Lake Wolfersee, which is one of Europe's largest and warmest alpine lakes. This small town was awarded the prestigious Europa Nostra Diploma three times for its restored arcaded Renaissance courtyards, which today features trendy bars and authentic beer gardens. In Klagenfurt, you can have it all, culture, adventure and relaxation, so it's a city for everyone. Klagenfurt dates back 800 years and features restored palaces, courtyards and squares. Also, it has a number of fascinating museums. And now on to Ljubljana. Ljubljana is located in the centre of Slovenia. Interestingly, there are four main roads in Slovenia that form a cross across the country and Ljubljana is where they meet in the middle. Slovenia is home to just 2 million people and 275,000 of them live right in Ljubljana. Ljubljana is known for its beautiful architecture including the Gothic style cathedral and the Art Nova Central Market. Ljubljana is home to the only marsh in Slovenia, the Tivoli Park, which covers over 300 hectares and is a popular recreational area for locals and tourists alike. It has a very well preserved old town and which was built in the 12th century and is now classified as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It is a green city with numerous parks and gardens as well as bike lanes and pedestrian zones. They are recognised as one of the most environmentally friendly cities in Europe. And now some facts about Bled and Lake Bled. Bled is a small town on the Julian Alps located in northwestern Slovenia. The town is famous for its lake, historic castle and breathtaking scenery. 
Bled has hosted many international sports events, including the World Rowing Championships, European Ironman Triathlon and European Basketball Championships. Lake Bled is the most recognisable tourist attraction in Slovenia. Every day the town of Bled welcomes thousands of visitors who wish to see this fascinating and picturesque lake surrounded by mountains. Lake Bled is over 1,000 years old and is believed to have formed after the last ice age. It is approximately 2,120 metres long, 1,380 metres wide and up to 30 metres deep. The island in Lake Bled is the only natural island in Slovenia and is just under a metre in size. It now houses several buildings including a 17th century church. There are 99 steps leading to church at the top of the island. When you get to the top, you can ring the wishing bell. Slovenian newlyweds often visit the island since it is considered good luck for the groom to carry his wife up the stairs on their wedding day. Hello guys, so I'm here at Stansted. Uh, this morning was actually very stressful for me. First is the time I've actually had an issue with wine there itself. Um, well, I tried last night, I tried this morning. I couldn't check in online. <laughs> so I tried, um, you know, thought I'd go to customer services at the airport because it was, um, you know, before the check-in close. And that wine still charged me £55. That's right, one there charged me £55 because of a problem with their mobile app, which I couldn't help. It just told me it couldn't check me in, so I had to pay £55 to them. Uh, I'm going to issue, I tried to get a refund at the very least. First time I actually had an issue with them. Anyhow though, uh, good morning to you all. Uh, today is a bit of an adventure actually. Uh, today um, I've got four different flights actually. Um, well, I'm travelling from here now at Stansted to Klagenfurt, which is in Austria. I'm then travelling by train and bus from Klagenfurt all the way through to Slovenia. Uh, I don't know how you pronounce it, so excuse me if I'm wrong, but Ljubljana uh, in Slovenia. Uh, and then from there, I'm guessing a, fl- a lot airlines flight from there to Warsaw, and then Warsaw on to Gdansk, and then Gdansk back to Stansted this evening. Uh, I shall join you later on. I'm going to relax now after a stressful morning. And hello from a cold Austria. I'm currently in Klagenfurt. Uh, it's actually a very small airport, Klagenfurt. Um, I mean, there's only two flights today, and we are the only international one. It's a bit weird seeing just one aircraft on the ground when we arrive, which is us. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm in Klagenfurt now, and the flight was actually on time. Saw some snow across the Alps, um, and I'm ready for my very long adventure today. I mean, I'll be getting a bus into the centre of Klagenfurt, and then a train on to Pilek, near the border of Slovenia. Hello guys, so there's been a change of plan. Uh, I've decided to actually now uh, walk from the airport uh, to the train station. It's about a 10 minute walk. I thought I'll just uh, walk it, see the scenery, see what it's like, um, and then get the train. It's about a five minute train ride from here into Claycomfort Central, uh, and then I'll explore Claycomfort for about an hour before the train on on which towards Slovenia. Um, but yeah, I thought I'll try something different. This is one of the only airports I think I've been to where you can actually walk out the front door onto the road and to another mode of transport, which most airports are actually in the middle of nowhere. Uh, anyway, I'm now on the way to the train station.
and it's only about four or two more attempts. Uh, I've got that now and you can do here, so let's have a look where the coping works are. I'm not sure really what's here. It's a small little place to build it.
Hello guys, so I haven't really had a chance to speak to you from uh, Jess, uh, yeah, I haven't really had a chance to speak to you from Klagenfurt, but I can tell you, uh, I'm now, I've uh, got on the train, I've gone to Filak, I'm now on a Slovenian railway train, I'm heading to Jessenis to catch an Aviva bus, uh, funnily enough we have them in the UK too, uh, we're heading to, um, after Jessenis, on to Bled, and then Bled to Lidjabajana Airport. Uh, so I'm currently on the Slovenian Railway. Um, next stop is where I'm getting off in about four minutes' time. Um, but it's not actually bad. I was expecting worse because it's Slovenia, to be honest. It's not actually that bad. Shall we have a quick look? So as you can see, I've got the whole compartment to myself. Uh, which is very ideal. Uh, I'm by myself here in uh, the compartment um, and we've gone through parts of snow uh, in the mountain region and hopefully soon uh, I'll be getting off, getting the Weaver bus and heading on to Bled to change bus onwards to the airport. Hello, uh, so unfortunately uh, I missed my bus here at Bled in Slovenia and that is partly because it was a tight connection uh, there's not many buses that run luckily there's another bus in, in an hour's time uh, but this is the last one for like a four hour gap that's lucky so I can still make the plane at the airport thank god but while I'm here in Bled it's a tourist place um, I only found out about this place when I was researching trip and doing some planning and stuff but it's famous for its lake um as i found out when i was planning this trip so i i thought while well, i'm here i'll take a little walk i'll take a little walk down to the lake and see what all the fuss is about and why it's such a big tourist attraction let's have a look shall we Had a look around Lake Bled, and oh my god, it's one of the most 
beautiful places, if not the most beautiful place I've ever been to. It's so peaceful as well. Peaceful. You get tourists, but they don't. It's, they don't really get in your way, like some tourist attractions. So peaceful, and at the same time, just amazing views over the lake. Now I would love to uh, spend more time here, but didn't only have an hour to change bus. I would have loved to spend a bit more time down here, taking a few more shots of the lake. Hello guys, I'm now at Lipijana Airport in Slovenia. Um, it is dead quiet. Uh, I'm quite surprised it's a small airport. There's not much flights that come from here today anyway. Um, but it's, I mean, I went up to security and it's the quietest airport I've ever been to. Literally, I went to security, I was the only one there. The security staff just sitting there in a group just chatting away, they saw me come up and then they got up and done some work, literally it's one of the quietest airport I've ever been to there's hardly no one here, I, I think I was in about five other passengers here other than that, it's just dead quiet really um, I mean I'm catching a flight from here to Warsaw next with a lot of airlines uh, and then from Warsaw I'm going on to Jadansk currently in Jadansk it's snowing so I'm hoping I might see some snow. I always get excited about snow. I love snow so much. <laughs> I'll see you later. I don't understand why you're taking off. First you say you love me, now you're breaking it off. You had me at a low and then you passed go and collected your greens. Easily it seems, oh. Tell me, did I do something wrong? Or did you invite someone to this song? I don't want to start by criticizing you But since we don't talk, there's nothing left to do But this won't be my heart Hello from Warsaw in Poland. Um, just arrived from a bumpy flight from uh, Slovenia. We arrived half an hour early, which isn't bad actually, considering it was very bumpy. Um, and now I'm waiting for my next flight on to Gdansk in Poland, which is about a 40 minute flight. Uh, with Lot again. Uh, well, I'm off to have my McDonald's. McDonald's is here at the airport, which is quite handy. Uh, so I'm going to have my McDonald's dinner and I'll get back to you in Gdansk. We've got about an hour and five there to transfer. It's going to be a bit tight with to get to Ryanair because we have to come out of the airport to come back in and pass through security again. Spend my time Can I spend my dreams with you? Go away somewhere we can hide Let us sleep since I am Chased but not afraid People misbehave I'll be waiting for you i
Hello guys, uh, so as you saw at the beginning of my video, Ryan and during my video, Ryan they charged me £55 for a check-in fee, which I think personally is unfair, because at the end of the day, it was their fault, their mobile app was down, it wasn't my fault, but I had to pay it, and I made a complaint to Ryan there, as their customer service desk suggested I did, and they still rejected and refused to refund the £55 fee, even though I made my point pretty clear to them. As a result, I... Uh, asked their media desk to provide a statement for this YouTube channel, in which they actually did, uh, which I'll be reading out to you. But first, what I want to know is, have you guys at home been charged a £55 fee? And if so, let me know in the comments below, um, and tell me if you actually managed to get your money back, uh, if it was Ryanair's fault, um, and your opinions on it, because I think it's completely wrong in my opinion. Uh, but this is Ryanair's statement to me anyway. Uh, I shall press play on here and it will pop up behind me and I shall read it out to you guys. So, thank you for your request. We note you are disputing the airport check-in fee. This was charged correctly and is non-refundable as you did not check in up to two hours prior to your scheduled departure time. Please click here for more detailed checking information to avoid this situation happening again. Thank you for choosing to fly with Ryanair and we look forward to welcoming you on another flight in the future. Uh, as, you can, as you can see from that uh, statement from Ryanair, I'll play it again so you can see it behind me, as you can see from that statement from Ryanair, it's clear that they don't care. Um, they just say you didn't check in two hours beforehand uh, and they're saying, you know, it was charged correctly, non-refundable, did not check in up to two hours beforehand, even though it was their fault, and they did not acknowledge it was their fault. Uh, at the end of the day, um, it's completely wrong. Um, and and again, at the end of the day, Mick, thank you for choosing to fly with Ryan there, and we look forward to working you on another flight in the future. Why would I want to go on another flight with them in the future if they rip people off? Uh, I want to hear your opinion on this in the comments below. Please let me know. Uh, and I shall now move into, so what did it cost me segment? I'll see you then. Bye-bye for now. Hello guys, and I hope you enjoyed that little taste of winter uh, at the end of my video. Um, yeah, uh, I didn't get to go in it, but I saw the snow. Uh, as you can see, in the UK here, we don't get much uh, snow. Uh, we just get the pouring rain, uh, but I'm doing something different today, uh, but yeah, my plane was uh, delayed um, because we had to do the de-icing as you saw before, uh, yeah, we had to de-ice the plane, but again, that's the most important part, isn't it, um, because if the plane has any ice in it, uh, we all know what could happen. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's go on to our segment today, shall we? So, I'm doing something different, so I'm actually outside doing this segment. Yes, it wasn't raining a minute ago, it is now. Uh, so I've had to embrace the elements uh, because I'm going to with the plan. Um, so I don't have my whiteboard because we're outside. So if it all goes to plan, my prices will be coming up on your screen on your right hand side. So, anyway. Let's see how much did this trip all cost, shall we? I'll put it all on this piece of paper there, as I always do. So, the Ryanair uh, trip uh, to from London, Stansted to Klagenfurt in Austria. How much did that cost, sir? So, that cost £8.37 in euros. That is €9.72. Euros uh, the flight from Lidjabiljana to London via Warsaw and Shdansk is the most expensive part of my trip. Yes, because Lot Airlines was discussed as a premium airline. That cost £135. And in euros, that's €156.70. Uh, so, all the trains while I was out there, you know, all the way into Slovenia. Uh, £18.86 pence and €21.90. Euros 90 cents. The Arriva bus out there, um, which takes me from Jetsnes in Slovenia to Ljubljana Airport, £5.34 in Euros, that is €6.20. 
UK food and drink next. Six pounds at seven p, reasonably cheap. And in the US, at seven euros five cents. Food and drink while uh, in Europe, twenty six pounds and sixty five pence, and that's thirty euros for seventy three cents. Also, took some money out of the cash machine, so I've included that. Twelve pounds fifteen p, and thirteen euros ninety five. So they charge one euro ninety nine uh, withdrawal fee. Um, in total. Two hundred and twelve pounds and forty pence, and in Europe that's two hundred and forty-six euros twenty-five pence. It is a bit of an expensive trip. This was um, mainly because of the obviously the detail into Poland and all that. But um, yeah, so it's a bit more expensive. But if you take out the flights, everything else was reasonably cheap. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoy this version of. Uh, so what did it all cost? Um, while I'm bracing the elements. Anyway, I shall see you. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share my channel.